Hi there guys, it's Nina here. Hope everyone is good. And today I've got a different video. A video that I probably said I was going to make years ago and I never got round to it. But the reason I'm making it now is because it's tour season and I thought I might as well share some of my tips and advice on how you can make your show better. And when I say make your show better, I mean your experience at the show and where you end up being stood um, in the audience. So these are some tips and tricks you guys can use if you want to end up at the front row, the barrier, or as close to the front as possible for a concert. Um, here is just some advice. The first and most important thing is time. And when I say time, I mean the time in which you arrive at the venue. Yes. Now, I don't want to give out bad information, um, but, and I know, like, it, like, queuing for concerts is very doggy dog. Um, but the thing is, so all venues, every single venue will always have a policy saying you can't camp. Like, every single venue says you can't camp for a show. Um, but then, like, nine times out of ten, people will start camping regardless if they don't allow you to camp in front of the venue people will camp in the car park across the road people will camp in the supermarket people will camp 10 miles down the road like i promise you like regardless of if it says don't camp like people will camp i promise you i've been there i have done that when i said time i was referring to how early you arrive at the venue now the annoying thing with that is that if one like one person decides to be absolutely like crazy and queue like a week in advance even if there's one person in the queue right people will start panicking be like oh my god a queue's already started i have to go now and then they will just drop everything and just join the queue even if there's one person there and um that's the thing so you kind of if if you don't see that there's a queue and it's like a week three days before your concert don't start one like don't if there's no one there don't start a queue and i'm saying this because as soon as you start one that's when it starts getting crazy i always say just be in the area like be in the area if you live in the city regularly go past the venue every day um to check if there's people there but i would say if there's no one there don't be the first person to start the queue because as soon as you start the queue and it gets online it goes crazy trust me i've been there i'm going to be using a lot of references from my um i queued a week to see harry styles video that i posted like last year um mainly because that was like my craziest longest and most insane queuing experience the next topic i want to focus on is organization when i say organization i mean the way that the queue is organized and whoever is kind of at the front or near the beginning whoever feels that they want to be the people to police the queue to make sure it stays orderly that's what i mean when i say organization i'm going to be using an example from when i saw harry styles last year and we actually had the best organization i've ever seen at like any concert ever and after what happened at our show, I started to see a trend happening at like, the rest of his concerts of people following suit. Uh, basically what we had done, or it wasn't, it wasn't even my idea, it was someone um, who was behind me in the queue, but because me and my friends were at the front, we decided to kind of police it with those people. We went on Amazon and we brought plain wristbands. Now I'm talking about the little paper ones that you like just stick around your wrist. These are really good because like they don't disintegrate in the shower and um, they're really 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 cheap like I'm pretty sure they're like two pound or something like that and you get like loads. Now what we had done we had used a notebook and the wristbands and we had written down one to two hundred in the notebook and then on the wristbands we wrote one to two hundred. Now this is like so organized like I, I can't even believe that it worked so well but everyone that joined the queue we gave them a paper wristband with a number and we wrote their name next to the number in the notepad. If they were holding a space for a friend, we would write down the friend's name in pencil next to the number um, that they were at. But we wouldn't give them the wristband. We would wait till the friend arrives and give them the wristband. And if they 
come to receive the wristband before a certain time um, we then wrote their name in pen and they got to keep the wristband. It worked perfectly. We managed to get up to over 300 people um, with that technique and everyone got their uh, place in the line. So that worked out really well. My next point is having a base. Now, when I say having a base, I mean a place nearby to the venue in which you can use a toilet, have a shower, sleep and change. Like the essential things um because although like some people may be like really 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 far away um from their homes like that's gonna be fine like for example in america i know that obviously your states are huge um so you could live on like the other side of the wherever whatever all i'm saying is you need to have a place nearby the venue um in which you can go back to at any point most venues will have a hotel nearby now what i suggest is just you and your friends all of you together if the hotel is too expensive get as many people as possible as you can into a group and then all of you just book a hotel room if there's like 10 of you booking it and the hotel room is like a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars that's 10 pounds like that's that's cheap anyone could afford that um that is what i did when i saw harry styles we had a hotel about five minutes walk away from manchester and not manchester uh, from Hammersmith and we would go there for the toilet, we would go there if we needed a nap, if we need some quiet and of course the shower and get ready for the show. Okay so the next point is equipment. So to make your queuing experience a lot better make sure you have the right equipment suitable for the weather that you are in and also for comfort. So for example when I saw Harry Styles was I'm, I'm gonna keep saying that every single point I'm gonna bring up this concert as an example but when I saw Harry Styles it was October it was freezing cold and it was London so it's freezing we had duvets we had sleeping bags we had pillows some people had tents like we went all out because we were there for a week <laughs> we basically moved into the street and we had to be as comfortable as possible Weirdly enough, I didn't get cold at all. Like with the sleeping bag and the duvet, I was completely fine. But um, I would just say like, do not go. If you're planning on staying overnight at a concert, do not go without the right equipment because you will like, okay, not die, <laughs> but you will be suffering and you don't want that. You want it to be as easy as possible because it's already hard enough to queue for a long amount of time. Here are just some do's and don'ts with the whole holding places thing uh, when it comes to shows. Personally, when I'm going to a show, I will always have like my one or two friends that I'm really close with that I want to be with at the show. Now, most of the time, like I'm only friends with people who are as crazy as I am, so they are prepared to camp uh, and do crazy shit like I do. Um, but if you do not have friends that are prepared to do that, then you shouldn't break your back to hold a place for them. I'm really sorry to say this, but it's just not fair to everyone else in the line. Like, and it's not fair for yourself. So for example, when I saw Harry, people, we got there on Monday and the show was the following Sunday. There were people that arrived on Tuesday and Wednesday and their friends couldn't arrive until Saturday. And they thought it would be okay to like, for their, to like hold a place for their friends. That's, it's, like it's not okay it's not fair for everyone else who's queuing it's not fair for everyone else who comes behind that person it's just not fair if that friend can't queue for any certain reason then they can't queue like that's it they shouldn't get a place if you are really 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 good friends with this person and this is what's really important if you're genuinely good friends with this person and you really want to spend the show with them you will go and queue with them you will not queue without them so i always find it weird like we had so many people at the harry show that were arriving early saying that like their plus ones are coming like in three days it's like well why are, like why are you the mug that has to hold the place for both of them we had some people that just couldn't be bothered to queue like that's not fair i understand if there were certain reasons like for example if you had work or other things but when i saw harry i had work every like three out of the five days i had work i went to work to 10 pm and i went to hammersmith afterwards and spent the night and went back to work the next day that is dedication the next point will be judgment yes <sighs> now this is a hard one so when you start queuing a lot of people are going to walk by and be like what are you waiting for who are you waiting for what are you waiting for like 
every single minute of the day people are going to ask you what are you waiting for are you homeless do you want some money do you want some food and you just be like no i'm waiting to see harry styles no i'm waiting to see bts no i'm waiting to see so, so and so people will just continually judge you it's just like it's just gonna happen if it gets crazy and you have a lot of a queue the news will come yes because a lot of news came for harry and i've just seen lots of news clips uh, from the bts shows in la the news love to film young men and women queuing for people like for things that they love like it's strange and yet there's people that will queue and go crazy for like sports events but they don't get any judgment it's just what comes with being a fangirl slash boy it's the judgment just comes you just have to brush it off your shoulders and just not care about it um but yeah it's it's, it's all about what's there in the end don't listen to people's judgment the next point is the final day slash final hours now as i mentioned before you should have a base you like it's really important that you should have somewhere nearby that you can go back to at any point to get ready especially when it comes to the final day uh, so the final day if you're sleeping slash camping you will be rough af when they finally move you from the street into like the pens you will look rough AF, but once you're in the pens, then you are there till the end. So you're allowed to like go and come back, go for a couple hours and come back, go and get ready and come back. The most important thing, and I highly, highly stress this, to make sure you have peed before the doors open, because you need to remember once the doors open, you can't go to the toilet because you are crushed against the barrier if you're at the front. You can't go to the toilet and the show won't be finishing till 10 or 11 p.m. So it's really important for you to pee remember remember to pee and my last point in making sure you have an amazing concert and making sure that you get there and the end result is front row hopefully now you're not doing all of this queuing for no reason you're doing it to get to the front and after taking all these steps that i've given you hopefully you should be at the front and once you are, the, are at the front just enjoy it like the hardest thing ever like your heart will never beat as fast as it does when doors open and then you're just on the floor and you've got to make that like usain bolt run to the barrier like it's the scariest thing in the world i had to do it so much for one direction and it's it's terrifying but once you hit that barrier if there's friends behind your friend like even it's even dog eat dog when it comes to your friends like that's how mental it is like when i went to belfast i lost three of my friends on the way to the barrier like it was so hard once you get to that barrier if you're first to hit the barrier you spread out you starfish as much as you can until your friend gets to you and plan most importantly plan where you're going to stand at the barrier do some research beforehand find out who your favorite member of the band is find out where they're going to stand uh, like for the majority of the time and aim for that part of the stage that's what i did with one direction we knew like what place of the stage harry will be at the most so we went to that part of the stage um, you have to plan it but most important once you take these steps you will be at the front and you have to enjoy it get your photos get your videos get your interaction like that's what's important so I'm really hoping that these tips that I gave you could help you get to the front row help you have a more better experience at camping and a little bit of advice from a seasoned old woman who has camped a lot of times for shows and been front row quite a lot Hopefully it helps you out with loads of different shows. Um, I may be planning on using my own tips uh, for the Love Yourself tour, but I just don't know if I'm gonna camp or not. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know, cause it's gonna be hard. And I'm just like, eh. And I'm going to a stadium in a country that I'm not from. So it's just terrifying. Like, I can't even imagine going to New York and camping. Like, I don't know anything. I've never been to America. Like. I don't know what to do. Please do hit up my BTS fan account. It's called Anpanman Teiji because those are my biases, Tae and Yoongi. I'll leave it here and in the bio as well. Please let me know in the comments what show you'll be going to because I am going to two, Paris and New York, but I may be going to a London show if I can get a ticket because I have to see them in my own city or else I'll just be depressed. <laughs> I'll be really sad. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel and give this a thumbs up if it helped you. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.